You might as well play this, you've got nothing to lose. So you're saying B. You had £32,000 in your hand. Not anymore. You've now got £64,000. Now, this next question is number 12 of 15. It's worth £125,000. Now, you're guaranteed to walk away with at least £32,000. That's safe. You could leave now, though, with the £64,000 you've got at this moment. You don't have to play this next question. Take your time. You might as well have a look at it. You are just four questions away from £1 million. Here it comes. It's worth £1 hundred and twenty five thousand pounds which British tennis player married Chris Everett in 1979 Jeremy Bates Mark Cox Andrew Castle John Lloyd you're going for D You had a check for £64,000. Not anymore. You've now got a check for £125,000. You have £125,000. Now you now have question 13 of 15 coming up. Take your time, it's worth £250,000 if you can give me the right answer. Good luck, here it comes. Which of these European countries is not landlocked? Switzerland, Poland, Hungary, Luxembourg. So you're saying B. You had a check for £125,000. You no longer have that. You've now got a check for a quarter of a million pounds. Right, at this point, you are just two questions away from one million pounds. If you do give me a correct answer to the next question, you win 500,000 pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer, you lose 218,000 pounds. It's question number 14 of 15. Take as much time as you need. Have a good look at it. Good luck. What specifically is a mezzanine in a building? In between floor, basement store, escalator access, lift shaft. So you think it's A? You've just risked an awful lot of money on one question. You had a quarter of a million pounds and you could have walked away. You've been very, very brave. Your reward is a check for 500,000 pounds. Half a million, well done.
Well, you're doing brilliantly. Fantastic. Half a million pounds. Now, there's a cheque waiting here with your name on it for £500,000. But we don't want to give you that. We'd love to give you the next one, the big one. You are just one right answer away from a million pounds. Now, have a look at it. At this moment, you can leave here quite happily with £500,000. But the next question, the final question, is worth one million pounds. This is it. In which year was Leonardo DiCaprio born? 1972. 1973. 1974. 1975. Okay, you want to phone a friend. Now let's call them, but remember you don't have to go along with what they say. Hello, this is Bill here. Hello, Bill. This is Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi, Chris. Your friend here needs a bit of a favour, and they don't come much bigger than this, really, as favours. A million pounds is in the balance on this question. Your answer could win your friend one million quid. Fire away, Chris. Right, Bill, here we go with the question and four possible answers, but only one is the one we're looking for. Well, I'm sorry, I've absolutely no idea. Um, I can't be much help here, Chris. Well, I'm really sorry, but your friend doesn't really seem to be able to help you at all on this question. Now, don't forget, just because you played a lifeline, you don't have to answer. It's up to you. I can't believe how tense this is becoming. Please take your time. I just remind you again, you are putting an awful lot of money at risk if you do choose to play this question. 468 thousand pounds to be precise you don't have to play this question you can walk away but it is for one million pounds so you think the right answer is C are you sure You just risked £468,000 by going for that answer. It was a risk, and you knew it was a risk. But it was a risk worth taking. You have just won a million pounds. You've done it. Fantastic. Congratulations. You are a millionaire on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Excellent. Here we go again with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> 